Hello everyone and welcome to the sixth installment of the Digital Athletes League. Let me, in this short video, present to you the new things that you can expect for DLC Season 6. First and foremost, we are changing everything that warrants changing in order to have a more premium approach to the league. And by that I mean we are going to be bringing the amount of players, or teams rather, down from 16 to 12 in order to have a, a bigger spotlight on any individual team that participates. This means that every single match, no exceptions, is going to be streamed, and this is a first for us. I'm so excited to be able to announce that to you guys. We are going to be condensing the amount of time for the entire season down to under two months. This is from the first qualifier to the grand final. In order to do that, we are going to be having two matches, best of two, that is, per week for the main season. So if you want to play, make sure to have enough free time on your plate uh, because the matches are going to happen fast and we're not going to let, let up this team in order to drive as much hype as possible to get as many viewers to view your matches as possible. After all, that clout is something players like to chase. So another thing, our bot, for those of you who've played in the previous seasons, is now out of beta. It will lend an ever bigger presence to help uh, make sure that the season is as well managed from a technical standpoint as possible. The fewer things you have to wait on us to do, uh, the faster or the smoother everything goes, right? We are going to be also bringing a more comprehensive rule set to the table in order to maintain a better competitive integrity. For example, a team that disbands can no longer sell their spots to another team. This was allowed previously, and this was, for all intents and purposes, a loophole that, around a, that allowed a team to play while circumventing the playoffs, or the qualifiers, rather. In, order, in other words, they didn't quite earn their spot in the league, and yet they made it through. The core player system will also be used again. This will ensure that a team does not swap out their entire roster uh, for different players once again ending up in a situation where the players that are actually playing didn't earn their spot in the season through the qualifiers. The anti-cheat rules will also be hardened. For example, we are going to be having a minimum level of 125. No player who's played uh, any, uh, who has 10 games queued with a cheater in the last three months will be allowed to play. And there's also going to be a blanket ban on all players with a battle eye or a manual ban in the last six months. AKA, if you play with a cheater, you're out. And if you try to use your Smurf account, well, it better be above level 125, which is quite rare. In other words, cheating is going to be severely limited this season. The prize pool will stay the same and the same great split as we had in the previous season. So this is something great that we're just going to keep on <laughs> keeping the same. And I'm so proud to say that we're partnering with T3 Scrims. This allows us to have another extra perk to the winner of the season. The winner of the season will qualify and will be invited to the T3 uh, uh, TM's uh, server. And all of the players who qualify for the for the league for the season will be invited in the T4TM server. Of course, this is a hub for the players that do not exactly meet the qualify the, the requirements for the T3TMs, but who still do enjoy this competitive um, ambiance. And finally, I gotta stay vague on that one. However, we have an exclusive secret project in the works. Not quite ready to announce that yet, but let's just say that there might be something ahead uh, of the sixth season where just the best teams of this very season are going to be invited to. If you want to register your team and play in the upcoming qualifiers, here are the simple steps you have to follow in order to do so. The first is to follow the link below this video to our Celix page, where you can buy a registration key that you can then redeem using our bot, of course, in our Discord server. Once that is done, you're then cleared to create a team, which is basically all you have to do. Adding your teammates is, of course, highly recommended. Checking in will also be needed. But aside of, that, aside of that, there's nothing else but to wait for the qualifiers and hope you win your games. With that being said, I trust you enjoyed this short explanational video. I hope to see you all in great numbers for the upcoming qualifiers. And I dearly hope that you are as excited as I am for the sixth season of the Digital Athletes League. See you guys in game.